see this Baksha perform well uh, against this uh, this high burst damage uh, composition by Brand Esports. Well, we're going straight into it, and again, this uh, MPLC Seven is under Welcome the supervision and uh, of the Games and Amusement Board. So. Mm -hmm. Here we go! Game 1 of NXP versus Bren Esports! We'll have to find out who can do a better early game. Of course, Lusty with the Cho can do a lot of good stuff in the days, but don't forget, Yaoi's on the jaw head, man! Indeed, and look at that! With the Ejector, forcing Few to use all of her uh, healing, or all of his healing, just in, as, as, as early as possible. But we've talked about this uh, before. The uh, the impact of the lethal wanderer for 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 the rest of uh, well for this new patch that one percent mana regeneration plus a fifteen percent movement speed for uh, for that single ally hero and also the stone roamer gives a lot of impact because we're talking about jungle heroes right now jungle has recently been changed a lot of XP and gold uh, if you're able to uh, to successfully kill those uh, those minions or rather the the jungle creeps yeah. and I think that's one of the reasons why most of the uh, most of the fights or skirmishes are happening inside the jungle area. And as you say that, we are seeing one burst out right now with Rene J going for the chase on Carl Teasy. They know that this is a very open, vulnerable time to go for Carl Teasy, and they're actually right. The rest of, the rest of NXP though, Yaoi with the chase on the smart missiles, hitting Lusty Ooh. with everything he's got. That's a lot of damage. Will he make it out just in time? On the other side though, H2O of course already level 4, can't activate the Mountain Shocker to get some vision almost takes down Lusty as well. Oh my god. So goodness. that was super close, man. Indeed, indeed. Again, the mech, the mecha suppression plus the smart missile almost catching Lusty. But Lusty went for a corrosive blast with a tank emblem. But if he decided to went for an assassin high and dry, it will be a different scenario. But we can already see the impact of NXP here controlling the jungle area of Brand Esports and also had the best position when it comes to the turtle take, but we might see a turtle fight right now, Rockheart. Yeah, it could be big here with Flap TZ already level four. Real world manipulation on the field. Turtle will go over to Carl TZ. That Roger is gonna hurt like a boss. Flap TZ with the flicker in, almost takes out Exhort, but will be able to make it out just in time. A sliver of health and Exhort will be able to walk out. But not until Bren does a lot of serious damage to their jungle. Look at the fight of Bren Esports right there, forcing NXP back and securing the first tur uh, turtle for their team. And which is uh, a really good impact here. Uh, uh, one of the best ways for you to snowball since we've talked about this uh, last uh, on our huddle with uh, Coach Panda. The first turtle enables your team to snowball early to get that additional shield for your core hero which enables your core hero to play much more aggressively especially for those squishy ones but look at this call tz uh, already had oh. the uh, the first kill over here middle lane lusty again this is what i'm talking about he's really aggressive he knows when to fight and when not to fight he's really wise picking up those team fights but with this uh, decision he's providing a lot of information for Bren esports to move forward that's right again Bren esports despite getting the turtle is only like 500 gold ahead so mm -hmm. not really that big of a difference but we are going to have to see yeah we can make something else out of it real world manipulation again for exhort get some hits on the rebo but rebo again that's an esmeralda you got the frost moon shield you can't really get taken out as easily as other members yeah maybe if exhort decided to go for maybe a well a clock of destiny into a lightning truncheon or maybe go for a little bit of a support type eve with the ice queen one but we can already see the impact of eve here or also with the mystery shop so you can get those items as early as possible nxp is uh, also using their vision just to, just to uh, face check every member of brand esports will they attack or will they go for a much more defensive stance and that will open up Randy J to move forward and also give him some time to farm for his next item yeah i think brand esports is a, is a mid game lineup they got that roger they've got the lapu lapu that's a mid lane uh, mid game composition so they should be online by maybe eight minutes or seven minutes but not if nxp can prolong it by just keeping on grabbing that turtle trying to get that steal it away from carl tz should slow down their game bottom lane is the target here flat gonna oh. get thrown out ejector on the back, back foot and will get eliminated almost immediately perfect usage of skills there on side of nxp again using the void crystal to slow down and also get some stacks for his real oh. manipulation flicker in by yaoi that was no ejector was found! Where was the ejector? It's gonna be fuel locked into the fight! Real world manipulation 
is gonna slow them down, oh, but wow. James is all alone here. Where's the rest of the team? It's gonna be on the back foot. James gets the kill anyway. And wow, that is a great play from the off laner. They're not done though, Carl Teasy still oh. going for the chase. Still has some good damage, but will not be able to finish the job. Turtle is still up for grabs. Perfect placement by Bren Esports, catching H2O off guard and also forcing a lot of deaths on the side of NXP. But still, the turtle is still uh, up and uh, still up here. And both three members of NXP and Bren are trying to cheap off and go for a nice angle here. Great angle, but then again, is the fight gonna go their way? Few is gonna be subbing in for Lusty. Oh. Flap TZ is here to save the day. Blitz oh. in with the Chieftain's Rank. Oh my god, the bravest fighter takes out H2O. And I think they got what they wanted there, man. They got the turtle and they're getting so many more kills. Indeed. And look at how Flap TZ went for that combo. And also with a flicker jump. Catching H2 off guard and also getting another one in return. Look at Bren Esports here forcing a lot of issues. Real world manipulation has been used. Also ejecting that purple buff. Huge slow field helped them out a lot, but the, re the revenge kill is real here. For NXP, a double kill for James. That's a great place to be, except right now the lead is only around 2,000. So Bren Esports, gotta be careful, man. Yep, gotta be careful indeed. And again, another Mountain Shocker checking the position of Bren Esports here. Now that they knew that the rest of NXP is also in the bottom lane and also the Rogers uh, is farming, it will give us some, a lot of time or a lot of space for H2O to farm the top lane and that's what he's doing right now. Ah, the Quad Swords! Oh my god, Ducky is smashing his head against a wall right now. <laughs> the Quad Short Sword or Dagger, he really hates that very... Uh, he would say it's very un uh, inefficient, inefficient or something. Oh, really? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Ren and Jade, though, going to be chased out by the rest of Ren Esports. <laughs> They're going to have to pay for that a little bit on their coach's stead. Um, and again, we are looking at H2O. How is his farm? How is he doing right now? One to one. Is he contributing to the team right now? I think his impact isn't as felt compared to yesterday. I completely agree here. And also looking at the level gap of both the core heroes here from Bren and NXP. H2O still level 9 compared to Carl T's is level 10. Almost level 11 here for this Roger. But I, I completely understand because uh, Roger can easily clear out the creep wave here and also remove the uh, the uh, jungle as early as possible. But yeah. then again, H2O also had his, uh, his passive and also his uh, Bloodhounds too uh, in his favor, but look at this. Oh, that is a big fight there. Great Ejector takes out Carl TZ. Oh my G. And we're still fighting him under the turret though. H2O very, very low. Can he actually join the fight? I the don't think so. Yahweh and the Red and J are still here, but it's a 2v4. They probably can't do much, but what they can do, they can zone away this turtle area. Make sure that Bren Esports does not secure it. And H2O is back. He's gonna have. He's gonna go for it. This is risky, man. Yep, it is risky. They knew that there's no retribution, but Bren moving forward here, trying to get the turtle. Who will get the turtle? It will be the Baksha. It's the Baksha out, and that's gonna be it. I don't think they want to fight anymore. Yeah, we so low. Has to eject Ron out of there. Baksha roll, 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 and that's gonna be it. X sword also there, just to make sure no one is following them. That should be mission successful here for NXP. They got the turtle. They denied it, but can they defend? Indeed, four members of Bren Esports really trying their best to at least try to get that swing. They're still in an advantage when it comes to uh, gold, but uh, this, the, well, the the turrets slowly, or rather, the map is slowly being taken out by uh, by NXP and also the objectives as well, which is really necessary for them to move forward. But look at this, Red J also with a steal against Rebo, and Rebo already popping up his Falling Star move. Yeah, this game is a lot closer than a lot of people expected it to be mm. right now. With, of course, Bren Esports ahead, but not by much. That is a very significant deal. Because Carl Teasy, as I said, early game to mid game. Roger is great, but in the late game, not so much. H2O is going to pop up here. Oh, like, wow. this is a great ejector. Few is going to have to be... I don't know. I don't know if he's going to survive this. Brilliant is not enough. Gets taken out by James. For some reason, James is getting all the kills. But again, an answer on the top side again for Bren. Rebo takes the life of Ren and Jay. Indeed. But look at this. Lusty. We have the dragon into Exhort. But Exhort for sure will go down. Yep. Since Rebo is also there with H2O. Moving forward here. Yeah, I think that's what I said, man. You got to be careful with the Esmeralda. Falling oh. Star Moon once more takes out 
the main carry of NXP. And that's going to be Aoi facing off against Carl TZ. I don't think there's going to be a kill happening there, but they got to be careful anyway. Mm -hmm. And like I said, man, Esmeralda plus the Eve equals that's a dead Eve. <laughs> yeah, completely. There's no way. Yeah. Maybe if... It, well, we need to make sure that his flicker is always online. Yeah. And, and by the way, Rockheart, one thing that I've seen here, NXP James are, is, the, is always the one who's, uh, who's securing the kills. Yeah. I think can backfire in in a few Cause, when it comes because to the, of the late gold. game because of the gold right, itself right. yeah because as a tank yes you can get those those tanky items for sure but uh, but look at the KDA of uh, the core heroes here on yeah. NXP one three three for H two O Rena J with one two O so not really the stat lines not, you want for your carry exactly and yeah. also for Rena J he needs to get those stacks for his uh, festival of blood to get more life steal out of this completely agree man Carl DZ looks like he's a lot more fed. Mm -hmm. You know, compared to the carries of NXP right now, though, it's a big fight again. Once more on the top side, Mountain Shocker stops them a little bit for going in. But again, Carl TZ has flapped TZ on his side on the opposite lane, trying to get something back for his brother. And of course, here's Lusty and Fuel. Oh, they're, they're a little bit hard to see, man. That's yeah. a great maskin. And again, Rene is fighting on the backside, but the front is going to be Carl TZ's game. The flicker in by Rebo. It's so big. And that's going to be a big one. Fighting under the turret, they don't care about the real world manipulation. Yeah. They're gonna get the kill still. But look at this. Here's so here's James, here's Renegade, they're still alive. They can probably fight back. Two for two are still alive. Three members down for both squads. Indeed. Wow, what a fight there from Ren Esports. NXP took the first three kills. But Flap TZ, he knew that I'm a tanky hero. I'm a Lapu Lapu. I have the home in, homeland defender. But look at the replay here. Yeah, we got the uh, well already expended most of his skills here. But Carl TZ and the rest of the crew, Exhort with an awesome placement using his real world manipulation. And Flap TZ there, he's in well really confident moving forward here, even going inside between the tier 2 and the tier 3 turret. Yep, and this instant replay is brought to you by Oppo A94. Experience gaming at full speed with Oppo A94. I mean, available starting March 26th in Oppo Concept Stores, Retail Partners, and Ecom Platforms. Oh my. Beautifully done there. Again, both teams look like they're really knocking each other out of the park here. Yeah, I completely agree. The score is way too close. That too I close. Expected. <laughs> Even the net worth, 34.2k for Annex P and 356 for Brand Esports. And both teams, they're really on a roll right now, fiddling each other. How can I counter this? How can I penetrate? And how can I defend? That's the main story of Ren Esports here. Why they move forward with a nice setup from the ejector. Big one here. Lusty again will get eliminated with a critical hit from H2O. The position. What was that? Man. That, that what was that, man? Ejector. It's, it's like more of a basketball where you can... Okay, here's the ball. Just go ahead and Just throw it ahead. out. You guys got this. <laughs> you guys got this. Yeah. Left easy on the top side. Catches Rene J. But looks like Rene J is already done with the turret. He's going to be able to make it out of there alive for sure. James again will be abs absorbing a lot of the hits from Carl TZ. And apparently the itemization on the box, yeah, the mm -hmm. kills are really helping for some reason. Indeed. And uh, it's sustain. Well, sustain is there. But look, another follow up there with the ejector. Real world manipulation. Yeah, we will get the takedown on Carl TZ. But Carl TZ's done. Rebo's on the back foot. He wants to get those skills, and he gets it. Answered really quickly by H2O. It's a 3v1. Here comes Lusty. I think he's too late. Oh my G. They're already done here. Flap TZ, though. Can he do something? And with the ultimate Braves fighter, yes, he will. Red J for the backup with the swords, and will get oh. the kill on the flap. Oh my god, that was huge. Dude. That's oh my James. James is still alive after taking so much damage. He soaked all the damage output from Brand Esports. That's the reason why they went for a 1 4 4 trade in favor of Annex P. And Annex P on the roll right now, going for the Lord. Half HP. Rockheart, do you think that this is enough for Annex P to seal the deal? I actually completely agree here. As you see on the replay, it was actually a great engagement. What James here. there, man. James was untouched. Um, you can't stop this guy. And apparently, that's all you need to do. Flap TZ, keep your distance. He can't really do much. And again, sub in, sub out. Great swap in by Rene J. And they did, that did a trick. Oh my goodness. Look at how NXP played this one out. And this instant replay is brought to you by Oppo. Nine 
A94 experience gaming at full speed with Oppo A94. Available starting March 26th in Oppo Concept Stores, Rita Partners, and Ecoms within the area. And look at the items oh, there. Here we go, Yowie again. Oh, they're wow. playing a lot more confident this time. Exactly. Huh? Oh my goodness, look at Annex B, how they dance along with the flow of Brand Esports. Taking another turret away from them, but there's no minions. But look no at minions. the Lord pushing all over to the top lane. They need to take down at least one more turret before the Lord takes into the tier 3. Just like that, it's already 5,000 gold lead for NXP. Mounted Jocker reveals the whole enemy. And that could be real world manipulation securing the turret. It's a killing streak for H2O. He's already so warm. This could be it. Oh, it's a big goodness. game one. And that's going to be NXP with a 1 0 against Brand Esports. NXP.